Bonjour everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. As you can see, got the old river there in the background as I head up now to Gated International Stadium. Yes, yes, just a 10 minute walk or so along these hills, up along the road, and I'll be there nice and early to be fair, see if we can catch uh, Eddie Howe and the boys going in. Maybe not, might have missed that already. And uh, meet Keg at the stadium as well. A little trial and error here with the old e-tickets as well. Obviously, we know that's coming into effect at St. James Park this season. Gated are already ahead of the game. They've already got the e-tickets in. So we'll scan that. And I look forward to this one. Pre-season is underway. The wind is underway as well, by the looks and sounds of that. Just lashing it down before, so I really hope the showers stave off for at least a little bit, like, because uh, they want to be getting soaked. What's Tanali's impression, yeah, when he's rocking up? to get said stadium the running track and it's absolutely lashing it down be crying his eyes out i'm sure crying his eyes out oh, i hope we see him on the pitch today as well but tonali in action it's good to see the boys back though it's gonna be good i've missed it feels like ages since the last game but at the same time it feels like the summer has flown over so the wind's picking up i'm heading up the old big hills now so uh stay tuned Hopefully, a very decent match, Dave Long. Well, that didn't take long for the rain to come. British summer time. Fantastic. Good to be back. <laughs> and down there is the old schooner, the old uh, local pub for the Gateshead fans. Negative Andy's a big fan of that pub. His mate owns it. I play golf with him. Good little pub down there by the river, but I haven't got time for that. And it's a bit early. So let's get up to the stadium. No, I've never seen that entrance before for a Newcastle game. And you've seen all sand straight some skips. Lush. This is what I was telling you about my preview. Anyone can join the Gates International Stadium gym. Decent little gym. And you see the Gates of players training there, Mike Williamson and that. And obviously it is attached to the stadium. Find this lovely. He has the boys now. Straight in. Adam P in the building, looking smart as ever. The whales let him down. Poncho time. Uh, I was going to have to poncho it. I was bloody three <laughs> stands, haven't got a roof, so yeah, we ain't risking it. So, yeah, come on. You're like, mate, you're going to need these for America anyway with the thunderstorms and that, like. <laughs> you got it's it. a big comparison, it's fair to say, from next week from now, but listen, we get through it. We we'll always get through it. Prediction for today, Adam? Well, I've said beforehand that I fancy Castle win 3 or 3 2, 3 1, 3 2, I would have said, so. I mean, it just depends on who we play, to be honest. I do expect to play quite a few kids. I think some people probably will expect like to Bruno, Tanari, Jorint to start. Personally, for me, I think probably will rest for Rangers, but who knows? I could be chatting crap, so we'll no. try find out, Matty. All right, enjoy your day, mate. Uh, appreciate it, thank you. Joined here by Arthur. He's more of a local celebrity than anybody else these days, and his dad, Ricky, who I actually went to school with. Ricky, give a little background then about Arthur. Obviously, he's Bruno's best mate now. Yeah, he is, yeah. You love Bruno, don't you? <laughs> yeah, he's your best pal. Yeah, um, Arthur's got leukaemia. Um, he's got leukaemia for the ALL, which is a normal, a fairly common leukaemia. Mm. Um, but when they found them and done further testing, that it's in his genetics, these mutations that they've seen, they've never seen it before in history, which means that it'll be a lot harder to treat. Because they've never seen it before, he's the first case worldwide. Mm. So he was having chemo, um, but he wasn't doing that great on it. He's reacting to everything. He had sepsis twice and he went intensive care, all that stuff. And last week, they decided that they're going to change his um, treatment plan. This is the longest we've been out of hospital. Um, oh, well. Because the, they're seeing that the ones, he's counts to be up to, before they start this new one. They've never really done it a lot on his case, um, on leukemia cases before. So hopefully it's the right plan for him, but it's not as toxic mm. um, for him. And you've been having charity matches against Sunderland uh, last weekend and stuff like that, raising money in the, yes. I'll whack the link in the description as well so people can try and 
no help Arthur as well. Keep it, keep it going, mate. Good stuff. Yeah, bro. Thank you very much. No worries, mate. Enjoy your day off, a lad. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Ream, how are we doing for that? All good? Married? Gateshead, okay, Graham. Back in Gateshead. Loves it. Right then, people. The team news is out, and it's disappointing that we won't see Tonali today. Did think it was going to be too soon. We're not going to see Tonali, Bruno, Joe Linton, Wilson. Loads of the internationals on playing today. Obviously, we've got Rangers on Tuesday. That's the bigger one. I think we'll hopefully see them then, when especially Tonali's had a few days of training with his new teammates. But uh, we've got Darlow and goal. Trippier plays. Alan St. Maxman plays. Uh, Longstaff is in there. And we've got quite a few defenders, mind. Jamal Lewis, Mankio, um, Savage is getting the chance as well. And then there's loads of youngins on the bench as well. So it's just a, a run out of day. Fitness for a few of the, the starters. You know, you've got Richie that's in there as well. So... It's a, it's a put-together team, but it is pre-season. It's the first one. Obviously, our main pre-season is next Tuesday, and then especially America, the Premier League Summer Series, you'll see what Newcastle's team will look like next year when, when we start playing the real big guns then. But still a good run out here. It's been a good turnout so far. Looking forward to getting in. And uh, Let's see how we get on. I was at the Predict 9-0 on Adam's video. We're getting that now. All right, I'm getting this changing as well. Look at Tinnies, an hour. Get them on, Stace. Lethal. What's happening, mate, Harry? Oh yes, this is what it's all about. There's a really good roof getting built here in the east. <laughs> so that's going to uh, really, really keep us uh, super protected from the rain today, that one. <laughs> this is canny, isn't it? Good day out. Shame the weather's crap like. If the weather was nice, it would be spot on. But let's enjoy it, eh? So we're walking out the stadium now to get a drink. Oh, the rain's getting heavy as fuck again. But uh, apparently there's a bar around here somewhere. I would say the stadium. Oh, there it is over there. Head over there, for the bar. Oh, look at this, state of this. That's the bar area over there. It's coming down now, like. Oh, an absolute genius has arrived. Are you like a poncho, sir? <laughs> Keg poncho, is it? Oh, you going for me as well? Two for a five, oh, what a guy, cheers, <laughs> <mate>. Blessings, <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> ah, the joys of free season. It's good to be back. Emergency poncho. Oh, yes, the poncho boys are back. Yes. <laughs> Non-league, baby. This is how we do it. Oh, so ready for it, ready for it. Eyes oh, oh, yeah, we're going then. Pre-season, baby. Pre-season oh, yeah. ponchos, pre-season cans, pre-season rain. <laughs> <laughs> how are we doing, Keg, anyway? Yeah. How are we doing? Not too bad, mate. Very well. Excited to be here. Uh, looking forward to the pre-season getting underway. Could uh, be better circumstances. Could be. Could be, eh? You're all. Football's back, baby. I'm looking forward to it. Could be, and you know, Porto, Benfica away or something, but no, we're in Gateshead. Oh, yeah. We're in Gateshead. But, uh, <laughs> it's good to see me because you know, especially on this uh, Sunday transfer talk show I'm doing now, live stream every week. Uh, loads of comments. Where's Keg gone? <laughs> What's happened to Keg? He fell out with Keg over and over again. I'm yeah, man. I'm sick, yeah. Of it. sick of it. <laughs> but he's still alive. There he is. I'm here. I'm alive. Still alive. He's still good. Just busy these days. Uh, I mean, life comes at you quick. No, <laughs> it certainly does. Prediction for DNK, even though we've got about, what, six left backs playing? <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Um, Let's run for the left backs. What we've got? We've got Target, we've got Lewis. Target, Lewis. And Richie, we've got Mankio and Trivia. Um, back, we've got Remy Savage and Dan Burn. <laughs> we've got um, Sean Longstaff and Elliot Anderson. Um, we've got Maxi, I'm presuming, up front. Mm. Um, that's it, I don't know. I think that's about <laughs> it, it, eh? it's, it's an odd team, but uh, I don't know. For, for me, like, pre season isn't necessarily about the winning, not about the results. Like, it's just about getting back into football, getting uh, fitness, and especially for the likes of like, like Carl Darlow's in goal. Like, the likes yeah, of yeah, he's like with Darlow's. the move as well. Might be saying a Bournemouth last week. Yeah, like, yeah, Darlow's, yeah, Richie's, yeah, Lewis's, yeah, Manquillo's. Like, for them, this is about just trying to show that I, I need to be a part of the team next season, otherwise, yeah, gone. Like, this could be the last time we see these. So, it's, for me, it's about fitness, it's about just having a look at other players, trying things. Like, we're trying to. Quite clearly trying a new formation with fucking 97 left backs. Uh, so I, I don't know what's going on. But uh, all, all the young ones are on the bench. Like we've got a lot of the, the academy kids like Lewis Miley and all the others on the bench. So I reckon we'll see a lot of them in the second half. So result wise, I'm not really asked. Just want to say a, a good entertaining game. And uh, it's good that all the proceeds are going to Gateshead. So for a non league team like this, could be quite good for this because it's fucking rammed. Yeah. Lo there's loads over here. All the streaming service stuff is going to them as well. So it's, it's good for Gateshead. So Definitely. whatever the results, just uh, looking forward to a good day. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, we're well done. We're a few minutes late, mind. Okay, we're seeing Max has been sorting his hairband out. Oh, we're in the sexy green. Oh, green, baby. Sexy green. Saudi green, I'm wearing it today on you. Yeah, we're done.
Gates said they've took the lead. 1 0. Very good finish. Sunshine's came out now as well. You can't still need to come out though. Spawn Gates, isn't it? Lovely, lovely. Maxi had a decent chance for your cast there, there, keeper. The good save again. Apart from that, not much is happening. Ball in. Oh, knee one there. You can get thunder in the background as well, so it's really good. It's 2 0 the gate, Ted. Not sure what's worth the weather for this game. Terrible by Gallo and the defending there, like way too easy. Oh dear, it's nearly off time. Roll it on. Storm is brewing. Newcastle fans are going to the next levels, yeah, trying to avoid the rain. <laughs> Two changes for Newcastle off team, Carriers for Darlow and what was it, Savage off and Miley? Uh, Alex Murphy. Alex Murphy on for Savage. 2 0 down Newcastle, need to sort this out. But tell you what, the stunner light in this rain is absolutely lifting. Soaked. Well, there we go, we pulled one back. Joey Maradona. Anderson and Maxi combine once again, this time swapping rules. Jordy Maradona sets up on St. Maxman. 2 2. <laughs> 64 minutes in, we've got a few changes for the tune. Finally got Trippier off. Aye, good job, rest him, keep him fresh, you know what I mean? St. Maxman, Trippier, Target, Richie, Longstaff off. Harris Nashby gets a chance. The ball, uh, Wade, Lewis, Maley, and Parkinson are on for the tune. Still 2 2. 2 0 down, 3 2 up. There it is, then, people. Newcastle with a glorious comeback in this glorious weather. 2 0 down at half time. Loads of changes. 3 2 winners in the end. Good stuff. You enjoyed it, okay? I did. Um, Big win from Jay Turner. Cook turned around from 2 0 down. 3 2 winners. Open the fucking bags. Let's go. Good turnaround. Good boost of confidence, that. Good run out for loads of youngins. And apart from the weather, a good tea out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Shit. Subscribe to Like My Channel TV and enjoy yourselves.